Welcome back for our final chunk of slippery socks. Okay, so this is a number three, number three to the end, and we're gonna say slip name. Three and say and B B B B A A B B. Rest, rest. B B B B A A J A. Rest, rest. A A A A B B J J B. Two measures. Ready? And down, up, down, up, down, rest. Up, down. So when you have that rest to the very last rest that you have, there's no bow lift. If you've been just bowing back and forth, back and forth as it comes, you'll be ready for that up bow. Okay? Let's go ahead and start there. This is two measures before the end. It starts on the high B. Three and play and down, up, down, up. Remember, it's a push-pull. Let's do the last measure. Rest. Push, pull. Do it again. Rest. Three, four, rest. Up, down. Just yeah. two measures before the end. Ready? And down. Rest. Up. Now, there's a funny little symbol on top of that D. Do any of you know what that funny little symbol means? Funny little symbol. Some people even call it a bird's eye. I think it looks like a bird's eye. But that's not the real musical name for it. Mm -hmm. The dot was a little like a sideways parentheses on top of it. Oh, I like the bird's eye. It's called a fermata. Fermata means that you're going to hold the note longer than its value. So that fermata is over top of a half note. A half note lasts how long? That's right, two counts. Two counts for a half note. So you're going to hold it longer than two counts. Okay. If I were conducting, we be clean nothing. Yum, bum, 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 rest, bum, bum. You would just hold it until I did that. This is again. Okay, we'll try to play it if you want to right now. You play ready and down. Bum, 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 rest, bum, bum. And then we'll cut it off then. Okay. So if you're playing by yourself, you can decide how long the Fermata lasts. When we've got the CD playing, the CD decides how long a Vermont is going to last because we want to play with it. But uh, that, that's, that's really all you need to know there. There's no new dynamics in that session. There's one P, which stands for piano, which means songs are quiet. 
and there's an F, which means forte, which means loud or strong. Okay, let's go a little bit faster from number three now. Two, three, and play, and... From the beginning, we can do the whole piece now. Is that exciting? I'm excited. This one's fun. All right, you guys have a great rest of the day. I'm going to miss you all. Bye.